scariest, most horrific scene out of a horror movie. A Little Rock family's navigating dangerous waters after a family member required emergency surgery while on a cruise ship in Mexico. Their journey to get help has included the Mexican Coast Guard, three hospitals, and even calls to U.S. congressmen. Care for Rebecca Jeffrey spoke exclusively to the family about what they've been going through and where the situation stands now. Rebecca, where does it stand? Well, Bob and Ashley, they are still in the middle of what the Kaler family is calling a nightmare. 22-year-old Chase has gotten over many hurdles after needing to get his appendix out while on vacation. But the one hurdle still ahead is getting him and his mom, Janie, home. Boarding a carnival cruise in New Orleans Saturday, the only thing on Chase Kaler's mind... A nice, relaxing, normal Mexican vacation. But a day and a half in, his boat got rocked. I woke up in the middle of the night with those sharp pains. The ship doctor said he had acute appendicitis that would require surgery. This picture of Chase, his sister, and mom Janie was taken just hours before the Mexican Coast Guard evacuated Chase from their cruise ship for emergency care at a private for-profit hospital in Cancun. It cost $6,000 to be admitted and $25,000 cash for surgery. We didn't have the $25,000. They stopped all of Chase's treatment. They unhooked his IV. They gave him no more medicine. They were kicked out and sent to the general hospital. It was the scariest, most horrific scene out of a horror movie. They described chaos, armed guards, and open wounds, but also where they found hope. I asked, I stopped just a random paramedic in the hallway and asked for help. I personally believe it was kind of a, a miracle godsend when we were able to get in touch with the paramedics. He put them in his ambulance and rushed them to another private hospital for free, where in an hour, Chase was undergoing surgery. As you can see, he's, he's doing really well. <laughs> He's grateful to be recovering and working to regain his strength to now get home to Arkansas. A big thanks to everybody for prayers and support. Janie says she's learned two things from this experience. I'm sure many more, but one of those is if the cruise line does not require a passport, still bring one anyways. The family has received some help from Congressman French Hill's office to get an emergency passport so they can get home. Also, Janie says buy travel insurance. She is a nurse herself here in Little Rock and is hoping her insurance will at least cover some of the out-of-pocket costs of the surgery and hospital stay, but it's not guaranteed. They are expected home this weekend. Bob.